Hello, and welcome to this cozy corner of the internet. I am Blendrick of Kyrx. Is the lobby system slash rating system going to kill this game? That's the question I wanted to ask you guys and have a discussion post about. Because this game uses the original lobby system that was back in, you know, 2004 when the original game comes out. The re-release uses the same lobby system. So the way it kind of works now is the host, you know, sets up a match and people join it and the host, when everyone readies up, the host hits okay, the game starts, right? Normally lobby systems aren't bad. In fact, you know, I wish more and more games are moving towards just all matchmaking and not have any private servers. But the problem with this system is it directly connects with the ranking system in this game as well. Uh, the ranking system uses a basic ELO system, which it tracks, you know, your percentage to win versus the opponent's percentage to win. And when you lose, you lose rank according to that. And when you win, you win rank according to that. And ELO systems aren't bad, but it becomes bad when the host has complete control. So say if you, know, you got four people in a room, right? It's, you know, two people on Team A and two people on Team B. Standard battle, which is the only standard battle and quick battle, and anti are the only ways to gain rank. Uh, then a host kicks B. The one player is in B, Team B and starts it up again, which happens. And now you got a 2v1 scenario, and if that player loses, that player loses rank, and those two players win rank. And at the other end of the coin, you do a battle royale, which a battle royale in itself is a very fun game mode but it's tied to the rating system, right? So a, a lot of people, of course, I've experienced this myself, to where if you got someone joining in, they're like 1,500 or something, and everyone gangs up on the 1,500 person and then continues the game normally, it, it can make for an unfair time, right? And because of the way the lobby system in tandem with the rating system, the rating system is bogus. Take the rating system in this game with a complete grain of salt. Uh, I just know, uh, like, if any of you that watch my wife live stream watching this, I will sometimes start at 1500, drop down to 11, go back up. I've been at the highest I've been at, I think, is 1609 or something like that. And then I drop down to 13 in a span of four hours. You fluctuate rank so much in this game from one loss and one gain. It's 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 laughable. It, it is kind of hilarious. So the rating system does not show really an accurate representation of your progression. And that's what rating systems are supposed to do. They're supposed to not track your skill as a player, but your overall progression as a player, right? To see how high in the ranks you've gotten because if it was actually a exact representation of skill then of any ranking system in any game like even say overwatch a diamond player can still be a master player right because it's not showing that representation of skill but a representation of their overall progress and which also creates and people want to progress right people love seeing numbers go up but the problem is when this game, you can easily manipulate the numbers. You can easily have unfair matches, have grind lobbies, which what you get is you get two guys that, you know, work together and their whole goal is just, they're just grinding rank, right? They'll have two people enter in, boot one guy, and before the other guy has a chance to unready on team B, now two guys are ganging up against one. Or they have like some weird arsenal builds and everything's viable in this game but they'll beat them and kick them out right it really is not right it's 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 kind of scumbaggy just to get a, a number that really has no representation of anything to go up so the, the question i ask is will this potentially kill the game and i know like a lot of players like myself i care nothing of my rating in most games i'm not usually a very competitive person i like progression i like getting better um and i like that feeling of progress but my rating you know if i win and lose this this, this number is not going to dictate how i view and enjoy the game i'll jump into any match in this game and just have a blast 
But for those players who are just jumping in, they want to get better, they want to improve, and the only level they usually have to go by is this number rating system that can be easily manipulated and changed. Is this actually healthy? Is this a healthy alternative to let people see their margin level of skill? And I, I honestly view it isn't. And it, it's, I don't think it can be addressed or fixed, but I think us as a community need to do better on teaching new players, helping those dudes out, not, be, not BM, no bad manners and just, you know, kick people and force 3v1 situations to happen. Because another guy, like, I had, I wish I would have had footage of this, it would have been a very nice example, I had one guy. He kept trying to switch over from B and quickly back over to A and just stay there, right? Now, you can press X to change and look at your arsenal and skills, and it'll prevent the host from readying up and start the match. But at first, I was like, okay, he just wants to be on the host team. That's fine. The other guy went B, right? And then this player goes to B and stays at B. And there's been more than one times that this has happened very, very frequently. And it's usually happening to more of these higher rating players and these lower rating players because again these people think that rating equals skill and the rating system is validated which it really isn't in this game you know i say this is my all-time favorite game but the rating system in this game is complete bogus take it with a grain of salt don't 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 even look at the numbers I ignore the numbers ignore them and just have fun playing the game the other problem is that was how people would address this too back in you know the xbox days was vocal communication people are less vocal in this game now because we're forced to use the online party system and the online crossplay system even though the crossplay works very smoothly the online app does not work as smoothly in terms of verbal communication being able to join a party have someone else join in it doesn't work all the time i know i have difficulties with a couple of my friends that play on pc uh doing this because they have to adjust their nat settings they have to do some port forwarding just to get it to work and of course me on my x i can just plug it in and go and even on pc i have my things relatively of course I, I do like all my own networking and stuff like that so i usually don't have issues connecting to other people but you just say hey dude can you go the other team you can't verbally tell people that without having them join a party which you can't force them to do they have to manually join the party themselves and to talk to them or send a message that they could just pretend to ignore or they turn notifications off like i know what i'm streaming uh, I turn my notifications off and look at my messages through the Xbox app to see anything else. But I think this is an issue that needs to be talked about. If you're having these issues, let me know in the comments down below. And I'm sorry there's no audio in the video in the background that I'm playing this on. Um, uh, the audio corrupted with it and I, I can't you know, fix the audio because I'm using a different kind of recording system. But yeah, well, that that's it. Um... Yeah, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thank you for your time, and let me know how you feel about all this. And uh, until next time, bye!